Hi and welcome back to this third tutorial in our series. As you recall, in our last tutorial, we had inserted a hyperlink to an article to a local newspaper. We had copied and pasted the first couple of sentences from that article and then inserted a hyperlink. Now clicked on that hyperlink and uh, we're going to see if it works. If for whatever reason it doesn't work, just try it again. It'll usually work after you retry it. So now here you can see that that article from the nonpareil opened up here and the people coming to your website can go ahead and read that article. So now we'll go back to our main page in that first browser that we opened up. Once again, access our administrative features and you could put this in your favorites too this is just the way I've done it from the beginning and you know old habits are hard to break so as you noticed I'll go back to that again and show you we come to our main menu over here on the right down here to change quote we use this section to post the daily schedule of all the events that are going on at the high school. And tonight the Saints were at home versus Riverside on senior night for a girls soccer match, which they won. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to update your main page. Good job, ladies check your spelling everything looks good and yes that is how the Saints spell their name highlight it come up here to you can add some color depending on what you like don't worry how it looks here because that's normal this is what it's gonna look like after you get done click update and then don't forget to come down here to the bottom and click done if I get in a hurry most of the time I'll forget that feature and then go to the main page and will not see the updates. It takes both of those, update and done. Now come back here to that other browser that you opened up, go back to the main page and voila, Saints win 8 to nothing. Good job ladies. That really is how easy it is and how quickly it is to update. Some of the other features that we're going to cover in these tutorials is how to select the front page headlight, headlights, highlights, I'm sorry, <laughs> and how to update the welcome block. Clicking on the welcome block, once again, is the content of the body. You can add a, a headline up here, and then from your photo gallery, insert pictures as well as text anything can really go in this place. PDF files from like a coach that wants to have his, um, oh let's say his basketball camp for example. I have an example of that on our front page here. You can, or the weightlifting schedule, once again it's an inserted hyperlink. We bring that up and a PDF file will show up that uh, the weightlifting coach sent me and I posted it on the site. We'll do that in more detail later on in these tutorials. Just to review real quickly, we went over the main content of your web page, the pictures, the main body of the content, and some of the other features that are on here. And now you can see that PDF file that is opening up and it is there for everyone to download, print off, or whatever they want. It's a good communication tool, and the coaches um, have come to rely on us pretty regularly with announcing some of the events that they have. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. We will come back in the next tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to update the front page uh, highlights with pictures from your photo gallery. So, I'm Owen Bergen. This is SignItSports.com Tutorials. We'll see you on the next one.